Did you know, for example, 9% of men have beeped their car horn at a girl in the street? Well, they're not called hooters for nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> 23% of English men are overweight, and that 23% is hanging over their belt. <laughs> and according to a survey, reading Mills and Boone books ruins your love life. Not true. You don't need to put the book down, love. I can work around it. <laughs> Right, let's get started. Go on, Mickey. Jedward. <laughs> Pick a question. Let's go for the man in the mask from the uh... OK, you've chosen the mugger. Here is a is clip. Is he a mugger? Yes, he is. That's a bit judgmental, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> OK, now here's your related question. If attacked, most people would leave a friend to fend for themselves. True or false? It's something to do, I suppose, with a friend, isn't it? Because we've all got friends who are complete arseholes. <laughs> you always keep one in your life, don't you? And you hope that one day they'll shape up and you go out with them and they're still an arsehole. <laughs> and they get you in trouble. That one, I'd probably go, I'll see you in a couple of years' time. It's worth remembering, if you don't have one of those friends, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> if you or John was attacked, would you, would you help out? The thing is, like, they might think I it's, they might, they might come after John, thinking it's me, and then kill John. And I'll be like, it's meant to be. Why me. would they be care which one? <laughs> <laughs> I would totally help out. I wouldn't run off. I'm like, oh, I'd totally take down the person, yeah. and they'd be gone. I'd be like, go away, and they go away. I'd like call. <laughs> this is like, this is go like... away. Sure. <laughs> 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 John, if you were walking with a friend, imagine you had a friend and you... <laughs> Well, because you live on your own. But if you if you were with a friend and you got attacked, what, what do you think? Yeah, if I had a friend, I would well, fight friends. to the death to keep hold of it. <laughs> it. Probably, it'd probably be me doing the attacking. Never leave! <laughs> okay, when the situation happens, okay, I'd know what I'm doing. Right now I'd know what I was doing, but I will know what I'm doing if it ever happens. Yeah, if you yeah, get attacked. Totally. Yeah, if it's if yeah, it's out of there, if it's like in an alleyway, someone jumps out with a knife, you would know. <laughs> Would you defend someone, Charlie, if you were...? I might try... I, I might... <laughs> I might stick around and, and, and try and spark up a conversation with them, take their mind off it. But I'm not putting myself in physical harm for another human. Haven't you just got married? Yeah, well... Uh, yeah. It's a friend, not a wife! <laughs> so is, this, is this based on... Is this, is this a fact or an opinion? Is this, this is, like, what people are saying they're going to do, or is it what people will actually do? It's, it's what they're saying. I can't believe they it. Oh, I think they would. If you they're boot. saying... Yeah, it's you easy boot. to say you're going to do it. Of course, of course they're going to say how, they're going to stick it. Well, you how, didn't. You how, said no, I won't bother. Yeah, <laughs> I think you all would do it. You're just being cynical. I think all of you yeah. are I gentlemen. And you're gentlemen and you would. I you, would. You think I would stay and defend a friend? <laughs> yeah! You, Lorraine, are a very poor judge of character. Yeah. <laughs> I was once out with some friends on a night out and we got attacked, and uh, I went and got us a taxi. <laughs> well, while the fight was ensuing, I thought there's going to need to be transport when this... Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when this finally settles down. And uh, I was quite right. I was quite right. <laughs> to the hospital, please. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you'd go and get changed into your jeans, wouldn't you? Just in case. In case you get your clothes ruffled up. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to stick around and help you. I just need to change into my jeans. <laughs> Sean, I tell you, you say that. You're lucky I don't have my jeans on right now, or I'd come over there. Oh, oh so And yeah. I would. You saw me out. You haven't got your bloody jeans on, have you? Yeah, but well, otherwise. Yeah. They're new trousers, so. <laughs> you could rip your top like Superman. <laughs> Are you asking to see Lorraine's boobies? <laughs> I don't know if you were looking at me. Can you rip your top? Lorraine's a lady and she wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's not nice, Kay. Lorraine's totally cool. Well, they're also very bad judges of Kay. <laughs> you do say you use cool a lot. I know, because... You use too much. I know, you but... You use cool about, I reckon, 30% less. But if I don't say cool anymore. If I was focused, really focused, if I got in the zone, I was totally Try focused... Try not to say cool for about 10 minutes. See how you okay. get on. OK, OK. It's a little challenge. OK, cool. Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Genuinely didn't mean that. You didn't. Mean that. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get the answer. So, uh, if attacked, most people would leave a friend to fend for themselves. Are you saying true or false? False. False. Yeah, people okay. would be good. 
True. Uh, true. True because everyone's aware. Yeah, I think it's true. I can tell you the answer is false. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Only 5% of people would leave their friend to fend for themselves. <laughs> In situations like that, I just let my fist do the talking. Please let me go. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs>